Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new Tesla update video. So today, as per usual, let's go over the market, let's go over Tesla, and let's just discuss what has happened so far and what we can expect moving forward. Uh, again, this is not financial advice. Make your decisions, do your own research. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. I also have my membership course live, of course, if you would like to join that. The link is down below, $2.99 a month. And essentially, I post, you, you get my membership only posts on Tesla intraday as it happens, as the move is, or the stock is moving. I pretty much post whenever anything, in my opinion, meaningful has occurred or can potentially occur so that's that as well essentially my live thoughts throughout the day if you're curious only 2.99 a month down below but nonetheless moving into a tesla looking like it will be closing slightly up on the day up about 0.3.4 percent or so which will be putting us at about 166 167 ish dollars per share compared to the market you know slight outperformance but hardly anything at all spy definitely a little bit weak tech a little bit stronger but nonetheless let's move into it let's talk about it let's see what is happening and what we can expect moving forward so this time I actually want to start a little bit different. This time I actually want to start on the daily because what I want to look at very quickly here is the bullion Japan. And you can see it's really, really tightening here, right? You can see it's ex getting extremely tight. It's just pointing directly into each other, right? The green and the red lines pointing directly into each other. And it's just like a big mouth just kind of swallowing up, right? And of course, you guys know the drill. You guys know what this means, right? Whenever these kind of things happen, like you can see the sa same thing happened right here when it started getting tighter and kind of getting closer and closer, right? Same thing here, right? Same thing over here, right? Whenever it gets this tight, Tight, it's you know it's it's congesting it's building momentum for the better or for the worse really but you know nonetheless it is building momentum and you know that usually means that this is going to explode uh, pretty pretty soon at this rate it seems like so keep that in mind right apparently you're supposed to get some um uh, u.s debt uh, default like you know whether they're going to raise it or not news potentially today that could move the market as well so we'll talk about something with the market very soon as well but nonetheless definitely getting tight and it's definitely starting to coil up so that tells me that you know not necessarily today or tomorrow or anything like that but Pretty damn soon, another big move is on its way for Tesla. Could be late, maybe sometime even later this week or like early next week, something like that. So, but nonetheless, it is coiling, it is getting tight, and a big move again, as usual, it follows. I personally believe it'll be to the downside, right? I mainly because, again, you know, let me remove this for now, right? We are, of course, arguably still playing out this bear flag right we still have this massive bear flag the stem was right here this is the actual bear flag here we fell out of it so far we can't seem to get back into it 170 seems to be once again yet another day of a resistance and on top of that going back to the one hour this time you can see as we've fallen out we also made a very miniature bear flag in there as well which we talked about yesterday we drew it and then it actually came up exactly to the top part of this bear flag the top part of the channel if you will got rejected which also happens to roughly coincide with that 170 level which is a pretty important one, got rejected by essentially both of them right there, came back down to the bottom, got a little bit of a bounce, and now we're actually potentially closing below it to close the day, which of course isn't really a good sign. So just keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that is you know pretty bearish. And I wanna make this very clear, right? I personally believe Tesla, as of right now, on the short to slightly medium term, is on a downtrend. It's bearish and it is on a downtrend, especially now that uh, it's fallen out of this bear flag right here, this big one, right? Very important to understand. So I personally believe it is on a short to potentially slightly medium term downtrend. However, medium to long term, I actually believe that there is a decent arguable or uh, chance, if you will, Tesla is, is back into an uptrend. Um, and the reason is because, again, we talked about this way before, this move right here, right? This one right here, the fact that it came above this level here to me set a higher high. And now all we need to do is set a lower high somewhere down over here, right? Which maybe somewhere around this gap flow, which was that 0.718, I believe, a Fibonacci level, right? Pretty much at this 145 level. Um, so if we can set a higher low, then we set a higher high and a higher low. And that to me is a pretty damn strong sign of an overall reversal trend or trend reversal, uh, which is very quite quite bullish for the stock, right? So that's just doesn't mean it has to like rocket right there and there, but in terms of like the overall trend, right? You know, over like a prolonged period of time, if you will, like several months down the road, right? That is kind of what I see. So until it gets to this level, I still believe Tesla is in a downtrend. At the very least, I personally believe that this bear flag on this one hour will play out at the very least down to this 153 level, if not to 145. But let's go back to the daily very quickly and let's take a look at more indicators, right? We still have the 21 email, which you can see as we zoom in a little bit here, we're still getting slapped down below it every time we come up to roughly uh, to its level, which is essentially around 170 as well. So a lot of resistance in that area, which is why, especially in my private 
membership. I always talk about 170, right? 170, 171. Again, under 170 bearish, above 170 bullish, right? I always talk about 170, right? It's an extremely important level. And the fact that we're not getting back above it and we're getting resisted by it two days in a row now, uh, and that's where the 21 EMA is, is, you know, something to definitely consider. So just keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty important, right? On top of that, as if that was enough, we also have the 100 day moving average pretty much sitting at 170 as well. Huge, huge resistance in that level, ladies and gentlemen. And the fact that we broke out of it, Sorry, the fact that we broke out of the bear flag and we're getting rejected by that level with all those layers of resistance on top, just 170 psychological level and previous resistance, uh, you know, the bear flag, the 21 day moving average, the uh, 100 day moving average, right? All of those things just combined together makes this situation difficult. Uh, and apparently we're even closing below the 10 day moving average potentially here now that I see that. So yeah, <laughs> not looking good. Let's just say that, but you know, keep that in mind. Anything can happen uh, with a shareholder meeting today and that can definitely switch things around. So just, you know, you never really want to take that for granted in my opinion, but definitely not looking good. Definitely not looking good, but that's kind of the main thing I am personally looking at as of right now. Now, uh, you know, in terms of once we get to 145s, what does that really mean? Can we bounce from there? I personally do believe we can again, taking this arguable swing low, well, not arguable, it is a swing low to the swing high, right? 145, 146, whatever, right? The 618 level uh, is the level that's important that I would personally be eyeballing extremely aggressively. Now, from this move, from this bear flag that we have uh, collapsed, at the very least, I, I think we'll come down here. At the very, very least, I think we will come down over here. Oh yeah, by the way, let me go back to this. Uh, another important level is this 160 level. So at the very least, I think we'll come down to 160 uh, for sure. Like, like uh, I'm pretty confident. Like, I'm pretty confident we will, which is the 0.5 level. There is an apps. There is still a chance that we just completely bounce from there, and that happens to be the low. I think the chance of that is, is extremely low, and I'll back that up very soon. I do think the chances of that are really low. I do personally believe that we will come down all the way here at least, right? Now, if we lose this level and we go down even further, then it gets a little bit more complicated. We'll talk about it if it actually comes to fruition. But for now, the main thing I'll be paying attention to is at the very least the double bottom somewhere around the, you know, the 150s to uh, probably 145. That's personally what I'll be you know, paying attention to right now. Now, moving forward, we also have SPY, right? We talked about uh, how, you know, I personally believe that uh, Tesla will go to the downside. And it's not just because of Tesla, it's also because of the market. SPY is essentially doing this diamond formation, which is, you know, a pattern that, you know, it is, you can see breaking out of right now. And this is pretty bad as well, right? So, you know, this is, this is gonna be a pretty massive, you know, coiled movement from SPY as well, right? Definitely getting pretty tight. Let's go to the daily here very quickly, right? You know, it definitely getting a little bit tight over here, you can see. So, you know, definitely a pretty massive move on SPY building up as well. A lot of consolidation here, right? Even like arguably from here, like, you know, a bit of a move here and then came back up and then just straight consolidated for quite a while, actually, for, especially for a market like this. This is a pretty long consolidation, right? Um, you know, the only really other consolidation we had this long was like maybe back here or like back here. And you can see what kind of moves happened after. Both of them happened to be to the upside, but you can see how aggressive they were to that direction. In this case, I think it'll be to the downside as well. So of course you never know for sure, but at the moment it's not looking too hot as well for a spy. So just an FYI, just something to kind of keep in the back of your head, ladies and gentlemen, because this, if this does collapse and this does um, do an aggressive move to the downside, that's not gonna help Tesla whatsoever, right? It will be, of course, very bad for Tesla itself. And then let's go to TSLQ very quickly and see what this one's looking like. And it's actually not looking too shabby. You can see it has broken out of this bull flag and it's overall looking, you know, in my opinion, at the moment, pretty bullish. Now, all this needs to do is break above about 52 and a half, potentially, and then it's looking pretty damn good. But other than that, yeah, Tesla's looking definitely more bearish and bullish as of right now, guys. Again, I'd personally be patiently waiting. Just my opinion, could be completely wrong. Just my thoughts, personally, I think 145 will be seen at the very least 150s once again. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm seeing. And that is what I think will happen. And the last thing we'll take a quick look at is, of course, the VIX also kind of coiling up a little bit here as well. You know, getting a little bit tight as well. And again, if the VIX ever goes back above 20 like this, but actually starts really, truly holding above 20, that's when I think this market is going to really see some pain uh, to the downside, of course. Uh, so just keep that in mind as well, ladies and gentlemen. But other than that, the shareholder meeting is about to start. I want to watch it. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are watching it as well. So yeah, I want to end it right there and I'll see you guys um, tomorrow. So until then, thanks for watching. Peace.